Brian on the top shit. So it's 8 in the morning and I am up and I wasn't trying to be. So I think I'm going to start um, uploading some of these soaps to the website. I still never showed you how to soap. I was going to wait until I got a little bit more presentable. But today is busy for me. So I'm just going to honestly package these orders and um, start getting a move on what I can early in the morning to see what happens. y'all so this is my setup in the basement i pretty much have like all my supplies here and then i have my shipping stuff back there i'm gonna figure out a way to get it all in one spot and then my office is upstairs so i'm just trying to use the most of my space or whatever but i usually start oh and bailey's over there she is um with us today because my mom is working from home and um i'm here so i don't work today so she's gonna stay with us but usually i take her to daycare you guys can watch some of our like daycare vlogs and stuff well she's with us today so she actually might just go back to sleep and while she goes to sleep i will be packaging orders um so i can just take them out when it stops raining the first thing i like to do is i like to light our candle it's huge and it fills up the whole basement it even goes upstairs so i'm gonna light this to get the vibes going all right y'all so bailey is asleep and that took about 20 minutes so i was waiting on some orders to come through and then i started doing the shipping announcement i already have this template from etsy so i kind of just like changed it up i'll probably make another one that says like i want to let Okay, I need to download this one because when my items restock, I need to tell my customers. And I'm just basically going to send myself these announcements. And these this template was basically for my um, social media. So this is to help me have content, post my pictures, and it all be like consistent and stuff like that. So it's three different backgrounds, which I love because I use the plain background for men use that one kind of for unisex stuff and then i use this gold one for women but i kind of just use this one for my announcement and i'm gonna post this before i go to the post office so that any last stuff that i have because i only have two items left so any last things that i have somebody can buy real quick so if they know i ship out today it's kind of the goal hey london girl i'm everywhere how you say it's up with me pop a sheet
All right, so now I'm going in and I'm done. I'm like putting all my products as sold out right now because I don't have any inventory. I don't want to delete the products because I know that when I get my inventory back, I'm going to want to just republish that. So I like this part because I don't have to go through and edit like every single variation that I have. So you can edit the prices. Let's say I wanted to change the price of this bundle. If I wanted to change the quantities and all of that, I can. So I'm gonna change the quantities. I have two locations. So I'm gonna put zero available. And that way on my website, it's gonna show up as sold out. And customers aren't able to buy while I don't have the product. So I'm going to go through all my products and continue to do the same thing. Alright, I also still have these soaps on here, which is my old soaps. They just recently sold out. So, I was keeping them active to show people what was sold out and what was not. But since I have all brand new soaps that I'm going to start putting on the website, I can just delete this. So, usually, if I don't want people to see it and... I want to eventually bring it back so like for holidays or something I can draft it and that way all this information stays in the back end but it won't be on my website or I can just um, delete it in general and I think that yeah the delete product is down here so I am going to delete these products because we don't need them anymore but I am gonna look at how the background is and how I described it I'm gonna probably save that so that I can um, kind of keep the same format for the new soaps that I have so you can bulk do things from the product page also so like with these two soaps I'm going to select both of them and press the products I could set both of them and make them a draft so that it doesn't show up. I could bring both of them to active so it pops up. And I also can put them in their own collection. So that's good. So when I make the new soaps, I can just add them and then do all this stuff from this menu. So me and my sister usually walk to the post office, especially during the summertime. So I'm just gonna throw the bags in here. So the good thing was I have some orders for pickup and then I have some orders to ship. So I'm just going to take my little sister. We're going to ship the orders. The only thing left that I have to do for the soaps is post them on my webpage and my social media. So when we're on our way to the post office, I usually let her play with the packages and I take cute pictures of her and say that she's like the youngest worker and she's at work or whatever clocking in just playing around but yeah i love taking little walks with her and bringing her with me when i do stuff you know i pretty much made all my sales from social media so like just posting it in general but um now at least i have time so the new soaps are coming in i have time to like really work on how i want the descriptions and products to be on my website so if you guys want to see that let me know